Elon Musk just dropped an electrifying tweet on Hillary about Paul Pelosi attack. I um, basically alluded to this yesterday about the whole Nancy Pelosi, Paul Pelosi relationship that maybe Nancy Pelosi is a, uh, a what they call a beard. Now, what exactly is a beard? A beard is a um, is American slang term describing a person who is used knowingly or unknowingly as a date, romantic partner, uh, what they mean by boyfriend or girlfriend or spouse, either to conceal infidelity or to conceal one's sexual orientation. And I think that's what Nancy, that's the type of relationship Nancy and Paul have. Um, he I think he's uh he got busted with his gay lover or gay prostitute or whatever that that individual was that was in the house because how else do you explain him getting past security and being in the house in his underwear it doesn't make any sense um but before we get started go ahead and hit that like button share this out so we can get this information out there subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff um also uh, when you hit that alarm bell, click the uh, um, change it. You can change it from personal to all. That way you get all the notifications for when I put out putting out um, stuff because I put out stuff sporadically throughout the day. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about um, things I can't talk about here. There's also um, a link to my Instagram where I put out tons of news throughout the day as well. So you can stay very, very informed. All right, let's talk about this news. Um, on Saturday, I, I talked about, uh, Joe Biden's troubling comment that the Paul Pelosi attack was due to questioning, questioning elections and that such talk must be stopped because it's ridiculous. Every time, uh, of, of, a, a, a Democrat get hurt or something going on there, they automatic, they automatically blame, uh, all the Republicans, all conservative MAGA Republicans and all that other stuff. But you never hear anything when someone from the left attacks someone on the right. You never hear anything from the media, the mainstream media, or politicians or anything like that. It's only one-sided. And Hillary Clinton followed it up with her tweet showing this is uh, the new liberal talking point, not just random spewing from Biden. Uh, quote, the Republican Party and its mouthpieces now regularly spread hate and deranged conspiracy theories, Clinton exclaimed. Uh, she goes on to say, it is shocking but not surprising that violence is the result. As citizens, we must hold them accountable for their words and their actions that follow. She also links an article about the attack on Paul Pelosi. Again, they're not calling out the alleged criminal here or even saying we must do some um, something to address the system that doesn't know how to deal with the mentally ill they're lying about republicans and saying that republicans must be quote held accountable this should concern anyone who cares about free speech of course she's also using it as an election attack attack point against republicans democrats have no option uh, options at this point americans are so furious that the democrats um, that the uh, Democrats have destroyed the economy. I mean, people are pissed. They're, they're standing up at their uh, town hall meetings and calling them out. They even shouted out Obama uh, yesterday. But how ironic and hypocritical that uh, Clinton should declaim uh, about hate and conspiracy theories when she was involved in helping to spread a deranged conspiracy theory against President Donald Trump and the Steele dossier and Russia collusion. This <laughs> is how, how quickly she forget. And how many crazies have been um, whipped up by those lies? Many of the left still believe them. Many on the left believe the 2016 election was stolen by Russia for Trump. And Clinton has helped to foster that belief. In fact, she's pushing a whole new narrative now that the, the 2024 election is going to be stolen. She's talking about it already. And we're not even nowhere near that. It also wasn't just um, prior actions. Uh... Again, she's talked about the 2024 presidential election already. Um, a lot of people rightfully ratio Clinton over her latest lies regarding the Pelosi attack. But one response was truly a wowser. It was from Elon Musk. Hold on to your hats for this one because it's going to cause all kinds of meltdowns and more efforts to get Musk uh, 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 by people on the left. 
he links to a website that has a lot of speculation about the Paul Pelosi attack and some things that differ from the currently known facts. Uh, he, he tweeted out, there's a tiny possibility there might be more to this story than meets the eye. Um, the site was uh, the site has now crashed, likely because of the incoming traffic generated by Musk's tweet. To be fair, there's a lot of speculation speculation in there, including things without evidential support at this time. And you know, when I when I talk about things that I speculate on, I let it be known. I'm not like the mainstream media. When I give you my opinion, I let you know I let you know this is my opinion. And when I give you facts, I I always source my facts. The mainstream media don't do this. But a much greater point that there are questions that the police need to answer in this case is true. And I, I laid out a bunch of those questions yesterday. Um, so check out my video that I did um, yesterday on this whole thing. It isn't about Republicans or whatever lies that Hillary and Joe are pushing. It's also true that the facts are still evolving with some even changing as the media outlets adjust their points. Um, for example... The story about the guy being in his underwear stemmed from a KTVU report, which they later pulled back. Now we're curious to know where that report came from, what prompted them to correct it, and what he was wearing. Because uh, it doesn't make any sense. You just don't make a story, something like that up. They got that information from somewhere. The police have not clarified as yet. That means at least for the moment that in his underwear isn't an official fact. Um, but... There's a lot of confusion out there about the facts. That's not abnormal following such an incident. For, um, another example, Castro nudist protester refers to an area of San Francisco known as Castro. It does not refer to Fidel Castro, which a lot of people believe. Um, and who is the unknown person who let the police in, the um, political reported? We will likely find out more as the case evolves, hopefully. You know, they might try to cover some things up because we know that that Pel the Pelosi's uh, give the uh, San Francisco police a lot of money so they can hide things like this is what I'm believing. But, you know, they pretending like they support the police. But, you know, that Elon Musk pointing out there, um, there are questions that need to be answered to Hillary Clinton is going to cause an enormous meltdown by people on the left who will ignore all the Democratic Voluminous, uh, voluminous spreading of conspiracy theories. The left is going to train all their efforts against Musk now. It takes some kind of bravery to drop such a comment on Hillary Clinton, knowing that. It's also funny to consider that this is exactly the kind of comment that would have gotten someone banned in the past by the liberal Twitter police. But since he now owns Twitter, so much for that. It'll be funny if they try to censor Censor uh, Musk. And Musk took over twi uh, Twitter the, this past week and he showed that he intends to make big changes. There's been stories uh, done about it. I've done stories about it. It's really big news. Um, he booted some of the top executive and he's in the process of firing others. Good riddance. Uh, but he also just showed how much he may change the site by himself by challenging the powers that be. I think it's pretty funny. But let me know what you think. Uh, uh, do you think, like, maybe, do you think that Pelosi is. Uh, 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 Nancy Pelosi is, is a beard and let me know what you think about the Twitter um, about about Elon Musk uh, uh, clapping back at, at, at Hillary Clinton and calling her out on her bull crap. Uh, leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe and check out DemarcRepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.